Hey, how's it going? It's been way too long since I posted a video up here, so I'm finishing up one today. And I want to talk about the waggle dance, a really interesting behavior that honeybees have. Um, if you're into beekeeping, you've probably heard about the waggle dance. If you're not into beekeeping and you're curious about it, well, I'll explain it for you right now. Uh, the waggle dance is a behavior that honeybees have to inform other bees in the hive about where a foraging resource might be located. They actually perform a dance on the comb at an angle relative to vertical that represents the angle relative to the sun in the sky. And they'll perform this dance for a matter of time, and the time represents the distance that that foraging resource is from the hive. Now, due to the gravitational fields and equatorial distance parallel to equilateral angles... There's a scientific explanation for all this, supposedly, but I was out in my bees and having a look at them, watching them do some of these waggle dances, and I was thinking, are they really telling all the other bees where to go and forage for nectar and pollen? Or are they just dancing? Okay, but seriously, uh, I can try and draw a diagram here showing approximately my understanding of how the waggle dance really works. So let's imagine this is a frame that we would find in our beehive. So a frame looks like this. It's full of comb that the bees have built in the middle, and the bees are storing away honey and all sorts of stuff in there. So a bee will dance on this comb, and up represents where the sun is located. So if the sun is in the western part of the sky, this represents west, and the bee is going to dance at an angle relative to the sun, so it may look like this. Um, and so the bee will wiggle away, and then she'll come back around, and then she'll wiggle here again, and then she'll come back around, and she'll wiggle again, and she'll keep doing this until lots of bees uh, have her attention, and she'll instruct them on which way to go. So in this case, say that sun was in the western part of the sky, this would probably represent a northwesterly direction, that being north, east, south, something like that. But I can imagine situations where this is sort of difficult for them to figure out the direction in which to fly. Uh, for example, if it's extremely cloudy, but they can still go out and fly, they might not be able to tell really well which direction the sun is in the sky. Um, or imagine if the sun is directly overhead. This isn't really giving them um, an ideal instruction on which way to go relative to straight up. Um, so it's a bit difficult that way. But there's lots of other information stored in this dance. For example, the duration from here to here, um, how many seconds she actually does that wiggle, represents the distance that the bees have to fly to go out and find that resource. So a waggle dance like this is much different than a waggle dance that goes like this. This would be a much further distance for those bees to go and find that resource compared to this waggle dance right here. There's also uh, pheromones and scents. As this bee wiggles away, other bees are in close contact with her and she'll be releasing pheromones and she may even smell like the nectar source 
that is the flowers that she's instructing the other bees to go out and find. So that could be a good clue for them right there what they should go out and look for. Um, I mean, the other thing in general is if the bees see another bee waggle dancing, it's just an instant cue to go out and forage. Um, they may not know what exactly they're looking for, but they know that other bees are coming back into the hive and telling them, go out and do something. So there's lots of other information that's stored in this dance other than that direction, or that angle to go out and fly relative to the sun. So it turns out they really are telling the other bees in the hive where to go out and forage for the resources that they need. It's just another example of how efficient and well-coordinated honeybees are with each other within the colony and how amazing they really are. So I hope you liked this video and if you did, um, subscribe, watch the other ones and uh, hopefully I've got lots more to come this summer.